He's so fancy <laughs> you. Why am I making weight? So if he likes me, then he will stick around, right? If he wants a one-night stand, then he'll lose interest. Without denting your heart or your ego. Exactly. I like it. Well, surely that's the most important thing in, in, in any relationship. Oh, you'd know more about it than I would. Well, right. I'm not just talking about romantic attachments, but being true to yourself. Be honest. That should be enough for anyone. Honesty from you? No, I'd like to second that. Yeah. Honesty is absolutely the key to a happy marriage. Just ask my Vivian. Well, thanks. And for the drinks. Hi. So, hi, Mum. Uh, I would invite you to join us, but I'm on a date. Oh, don't worry. I'm perfectly happy with my own company. Well, that would be attentive bar staff. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good. I'm just uh, going to get this uh, tech on you. Oh, good day. <laughs> Out. I appreciate I have a fair amount of explaining to do. Save your breath. You're barred. Permanently. Uh, my usual, please, Bob. And... Uh, fine, please. Mm. Right, you are. How come he's not barred and I am? Because this is my pub. Oh, Diane, please, I'm begging you. La, la, la. La, 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 I have the purest la, la, of la, motives. You've no idea how much I suffered. La, 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 la. Get her out, Bob. You can la 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 the entire Beatles back catalogue. I'm not moving from this pub until I've had my say. I've had the worst day of my entire life and that's saying something. Plus, I was nearly thrown into prison for outrage and public decency. In the back, now. And number 69, good. And three plain naan bread and two... No, make that three pilau rice. All right? Good. Thank you. See you shortly. It's good to see you two getting on. What was Ryan? No, it was just small talk, that's all. I knew once you got to know him, you'd feel differently. How do you think so, Faye? You'd feel he was a man you'd be proud to call your son. Here's a credit to you. The real credit. I had to make Eric see that he couldn't live without us. I had to be poised to pounce when he cracked. How could I do that from Australia? I'm not giving in. Not this time. Please, Diane. There must be a small corner of your heart that doesn't want to stick my head under the bathwater and hold it there. You could offer me double, but you can't have your half of the pub back. Because if we work together again, one of us will end up deceased and the other in jail. No, no, but I couldn't buy it back even if I wanted to. Half the cash is in Eric's account now. You always have to go that one step too far, don't you? You expect me to believe you've given away thousands of pounds? Uh, not a word of a lie. Yeah, yeah, I had to prove to him that I loved him, that I wanted him back. Uh, what better proof can you want? And all that nonsense about Rodney. <laughs> Bitterly regretted, isn't it, darling? The tragedy is, I wouldn't have the old rogue given. He knows that. I know that he knows that. You know that I know that he knows Enough. that. Enough! I just wanted to right every wrong I've ever perpetrated. So you got your pub back. Eric got some of the proceeds. And I got a tube of toothpaste and a mini toothbrush from the plane. Everyone's happy. No, no, no. Make that ecstatic. I'm not having it, Bob. I mean, I've got to make a living. Heard your girlfriend's back, have you? Yeah, through there with the husband. Better make yourself scarce. It's joke school. That's as funny as swine flu. Oh, I don't know. Got you going for a second. Oh, come here. As if you've stood a chance with Val. I think you owe me a drink. The first of many. Am I on board? Let's just say you're on probation. Oh. You will not regret this. I'm going to be your best customer. Aren't we, Eric? I think you should stump up for doubles all round. Yeah, I'd be delighted, dear lady. <laughs> Val's bonkers, eh? Imagine if they'd have actually been caught doing it. Uh, will you shut up? I don't want to imagine anything of the sort. <laughs> so, someone's still getting some action. Uh, if that's a hint, you can get lost. You know what, you must be psychic because that is exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, it's been great, don't get me wrong, buying all of your drinks and hearing about how I make your ex jealous, but I'm shattered, so I think I'm going to go and I'll see you later, maybe. Bye! See, I told you, didn't I? Go on, what did she tell you? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Did 
didn't um, go so well, eh? Nathan was right. The girls are mad. Right. Probably for the best. I mean, last thing I need if I'm going to Dubai is to be in a relationship, right? Quite. I don't want to have a good time. I don't want to be. I don't want to be worried about phoning someone at home all the time. Hmm. But you will keep in touch, won't you? With my mum, yeah. There's no one else here for me. Never has been. Never will. In fact, in fact, the sooner I get out of here and get a life, the better. <laughs>